everybody, thanks for tuning in. In this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about why multiple cameras are so important during your live streams and your events. Uh, we just got finished a live streaming a festival this past weekend. We had we technically had three cameras if you include the drone that we were using, um, but we I wish we had three pan tilt zoom cameras. And I was under the impression that two pan tilt zoom cameras is is, is just enough because you've got one camera to zoom in and then you can zoom into your next thing and you can fade in between those two but after live streaming for six hours I realized that a third camera would have been awesome to have and I'm gonna explain why and obviously two cameras is better than one three cameras is better than two and then four cameras is better than three but I think four it really gets to be a lot for especially for like a one-man uh, live streaming setup, which is what we did. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the footage that we had. So um, this is our jam cam here. And what we did was, so we've got one wide angle shot there, and then we've got our jam cam, which zooms into the person uh, of interest. So whoever's soloing, whoever's singing, we uh, per a place of interest. So we've got our jam cam there. And what I realized after doing all of the, um, the live stream is that it would have been nice to have a third camera to fade in and out between multiple points of interest within the jam cam um, because we were able to capture, uh, and maybe I'll get uh, one more example here. I think this is a really good example. Let's go here. Um, this example here, so we've got the wide shot of the whole band and then a zoomed in shot of the singer. And what would have been really nice is, see now we've got two singers here. So it would have been really nice to um, to fade in and out with a third camera. Also, you can see here that we have some uh, drone footage that we captured. So that was technically acting as our third camera. That's a live drone flying around in the background. So we were able to do a lot of really cool stuff. And if you're interested in live streaming drones, um, we can uh, there, we actually have a video on it. And we have a video on our entire setup um, which you can see kind of there in the cabana there um, of our two camera live streaming setup, which included a drone. Um, but I just think a third camera there would have been ideal so that we could switch back and forth between uh, our various zoomed in views. So that is, that's my thoughts on why multiple cameras are important. Obviously two cameras allows you to switch in between them and fade in and out. But if you're going to do a picture in picture like we've done, that third camera allows you to have your background shot and then fade in between the two cameras in your picture in picture, which I think looks super professional. Um, I think we did a great job. Uh, we even incorporated a drone. So we've got all of this documented for you guys. If you're interested in live streaming, you want to take your live streams to the next level, um, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we've got a ton of tips, tricks, and tutorials. We've got a free ebook below on uh, plug and play live streaming. A lot of this technology is very affordable. It's within reach. Um, and these are just some tips, some tips for multi-camera live streaming setups. Thanks, everyone.